just want you know, say you really want from me. I'm not gonna leave your side. Like I showed you in the last video, we went to the Epe to take a beautiful boat trip and get to know some new villages in Nigeria. Instead of you to confess, you don't confess that I am the one that stole this thing. Maybe you be like a strong man or a woman. You swear there before seven days, the person will die on water that reach here. And anywhere he went by the grace. So that is what it's meant for. It's true. Well, what if the person confess? Like when you confess, you know they will not swear for you. Definitely they have known that you are the one that stole this on them. After coming back, we learned about some of the traditions in the village and saw their holy shrine. This is where our king used to sit. This place. Yeah. Let me see the family of the royal highness. You don't have the understanding to sit here. If you sit down here, you're going to purge for 41 days. And if the purge did not stop, it will lead to death. He showed us where the king would sit and where they would do their sacrifices. We learned that the village where we are in is filled with rituals, beliefs and traditions. Since it was the holy space, we obviously had to take our shoes off. We saw the place where the masquerade comes out and then learned about the traditions connected to the king and the important people in the town. I think this is like... Okay, your masquerade, do come up from. Okay. You know what okay. is the masquerade? Yes, no? yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are six people that can enter it that have the power to enter here. He's also oh. among them. Okay. So when the king is elected, yes, these are the king's maker. Yeah, yeah. When the king is elected, it's, it, it's the most for him to enter here just once. Okay. When enter there, it will never enter here anymore. Then make law, the law is what the king must accept. Okay. Although when they make the law, the king will have let me say they have one, one or two understandings. So the king will call them this and that. So the king will enlighten them. So once they accept, it's okay. So yeah. these people here, once they put let me say their goods or something there, you can't steal it. If you steal it, you just forget it. You are dead. Immediately. Immediately. The king cannot make any law. Yeah, without, without them. Yeah, without yeah. The, without the permission. Okay. But they can make the law by themselves. Yeah, them. Don't the king permission. Wow. Because they are the ones that they are the king, king makers. Yes. So, so anything they do, the king must accept. accept. So I like this. The, the pictures of these people are they actually like people that are important in the community? Yeah, yeah. These are the drummers. Okay. So I'm, um, Okay, this is the king. Currently, the village does not have a king because the king died in 2020, but they soon want to elect someone new for the position. They have three families that are entitled to the king, so we have three. So when the king dies, the next family, they are going to bring their own king. But since they are, you know, politics are not politics, so that is, that's what happened. Let me say, it's late in 2020, around July. So they have to cool down to nominate the perfect king, not doing that to embezzle money. That's what they are that after. So yes. We were then also invited to do a praying ceremony with some people in the town because it is said that you need to cleanse your body every time you walk into the shrine. The ceremony was with a specific bottle and we put some sand in our face. Everybody said one prayer for the group and they kept giving a glass with some drink around. The liquid was then always poured back into the bottle and then the glass was filled newly for the next person that said their prayer. The prayers were filled with strong hopes for each individual and the group. We did this until everybody had said their prayer. I am honestly so thankful about having been to this village because it was such an interesting place to be and everybody was so sweet and welcoming there.
Then the glass was given around again for everybody to drink a tiny bit. It was a very interesting experience for me and I am happy that I was invited to be a part of this. We then left the village and drove to meet Mr. Mufu's father, the head of the community. So we're now at Mr. Mufu's father's house and we're going to go inside to greet him. Good afternoon. Mr. Mufu showed me a few things while walking there and showed me where he grew up and where he lives. After climbing a few stairs, we arrived at the place. I was so happy that we were able to come to his house. I really loved the place because it was filled with beautiful frames and his room had such a nice vibe with all the curtains, textures and colors. We then sat down a bit and talked, but honestly my mind was a bit off because I couldn't stop looking around at all the details in his room. We left the village to drive to the fish market, but I'll show you what we experienced there in the next video. Also, spam some comments in the comment section for some extra love. Thank you. Love you. P.S. Vibe.